What is nanotechnology? Essentially, it's the science of small. It means we work with chemicals and particles on a nano scale. To put that in perspective, a nanometer is one billionth of a metre. That means that a single human hair is approximately 100,000 nanometers across. Currently, nanotechnology is used in a range of different industries. One of those industries is the medical industry. Doctors are now using nanoparticles for drug delivery. This means they can target infection without damage to surrounding cells. Another industry is the construction industry. They are using nanoparticles to create stronger materials by manipulating the chemistry of steel at a nano level. The sports industry uses nanotechnology by manufacturing materials to make running shoes lighter and the athlete faster. Those are just some of the other industries using nanotechnology. Jump onto Google and see for yourself how many other applications there are. Today we are going to be talking about nanotechnology in our paint protections. So why are nano coatings better than regular paint sealants? Firstly, if you look at the surface of vehicle paint, it is very porous. This allows dirt, dust and other contaminants to become trapped in the pores and this eventually causes oxidisation of the paintwork, leaving it chalky and dull. Paint protections essentially work to seal off the pores of the paintwork. So here we have an untreated surface with the pores exposed. If we look at traditional waxes, the particles are quite large so dirt can still become trapped in the pores. Waxes also need regular reapplication for a glossy surface. Regular sized particles of paint protection, shown here, will effectively seal off the pores of the paintwork, however they too require reapplication as they break down over time. In this diagram, nano sized particles of protection not only provide a permanent seal, but because they are much smaller there are less gaps for contaminants to penetrate. This provides the most comprehensive seal against the elements. Next we need to look at what these particles are made from. Motor 1 paint protections contain titanium dioxide or TiO2. This ingredient not only seals off the paintwork but fuses with it to become part of the paint. This is a common ingredient in surface coatings due to its properties. Let's have a look at these. Titanium dioxide provides a high gloss mirror finish that enhances the look of vehicle paintwork. Titanium dioxide also has the highest known UV protection and is used in many sunscreens. Titanium dioxide is non-organic and does not break down over time. This means no reapplication. It also means the product is environmentally friendly. Most importantly though, titanium dioxide is a chemically reactive coating that breaks down organic matter and creates a hydrophilic surface. So let's have a look at how that works. Imagine this panel is treated with titanium dioxide nanotechnology surface coating. In the presence of sunlight, the particles in the TiO2 become excited and oscillate, meaning billions of these little particles create a moving surface. These particles also react with the particles in the air around us and this leads to the breakdown of organic matter. This means the decomposition of things like dirt and road grime on the paintwork of the vehicle. The excited particles also create a hydrophilic surface as they are continuously moving, not allowing dirt to stick. When the car is washed or is wet, you can see the water sheet on the surface. The sheeting of water, together with the non-stick surface, means dirt easily washes away without the need to scrub. This diagram shows the titanium dioxide nanoparticles creating a moving surface. When water droplets come into contact with the paint, the moving surface means this water sheets off instead of beading on the car. So where do nanotechnology surface coatings fit in the timeline of paint protections? We can use the analogy of televisions to illustrate this. In 1935, we had the birth of vehicle paint protections with the silicon-based formula. We can liken this to our very first black and white TV. In 1980, the introduction of Teflon came about and silicon was out. This would be the introduction of the colour TV. Then in 1997, Nutri-C was added to protect against bird droppings and tree sap. This was the LCD version of paint protection. Then in 2005, 
the non-organic range of protections was introduced. This is our LED TV. And finally, the introduction of titanium dioxide or the 3D TV of paint protections was introduced in 2008. Currently, titanium dioxide is part of the Motor One Performance Surface Coatings range. information on these or any of our other products please contact Motor One or visit our website.